guys what's up it's dahlia welcome back to my channel happy vlogmas today is finally the first day that i'm actually filming for vlogmas on vlogmas the other vlogs i posted were filmed days before vlogmas now i finally have to get off my ass and film during vlogmas so this should be fun because i just got a job schedule's a little wacky but like we're gonna get it done today i'm gonna be filming a simple makeup routine now i did prep my skin before this if you want to know how i prepped it and what i did make sure you check out day five vlogmas where i try out a new skincare routine and i've actually been sticking to that skincare routine because it's pretty simple and easy to follow along um yeah let's jump right in because i actually need to leave for work soon <laughs> well to start off i'm gonna be using the same primer that i used in my skincare routine video it's the glow primer and serum by neutrogena and it also has hyaluronic acid in it and i'm just gonna be applying that with the jade roller I also forgot to say, if you see me looking over here, it's because my vanity is right here and you guys are off to the side sitting on my vanity. It's crazy when I'm filming, I always forget what step I do things in and I'm like, I do this every day, I should know, which I do know, it's just, I think, the nerves. Um, what do I do next? Usually I would put on, I like to use this e.l.f. poreless primer, that's my go-to primer. But because I'm still trying out my skincare routine and this stuff is actually good for serum and primer, I'm not going to be using this one today. What I like to do before starting any makeup routine is wet my beauty blender, but unlike other people, I like to wet my beauty blender with setting mist. I feel like it gives the makeup that matte finish. I'm still going to apply setting mist later on in the video too, and I just use this e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 450. Um, I know this is not my shade, this is definitely darker. I bought this from Ulta and for some reason I was an idiot and I let one of the sales associates help me pick out my color. She was obviously white and I'm black and I just knew she was gonna pick out the right one but I still let her pick it out and it was a way too dark for my skin tone even though I mentioned that in the store but it's okay I should have known she doesn't have experience with doing makeup for darker skin tones two or three shades too dark for my skin tone but I'll show you guys how I bring it out and even it out I use this elf foundation brush to apply the Fenty Beauty foundation just as if I was painting on a canvas but do not put too much because this stuff is very pigmented take this off and use my regular primer because it feels like the makeup's coming on all weird I think I'm gonna do that I don't have time to do that but yeah so far I'm not a big fan of using that serum as a primer I also forgot to mention that every time I do my makeup since the shade is darker I am sure to paint like at least midway on my neck so that it actually blends otherwise my face would just look way darker than the rest of my body I've been having such a hard time putting on the foundation because I use this primer which I normally don't use like I said if you want to follow along to this routine I'd recommend the elf poreless face primer over the Neutrogena primer serum because it's just not giving for me maybe for skincare routine but not for makeup one more thing that i realized is that i did not do my brows and those are usually the first thing i do after primer so we're gonna do our brows right now for my brows i use the morphe beauty arch obsessions brow kit in the shade java i start by by just drawing on the brow i desire with a regular dark brown eye pencil that i just got from the hair store and i use the elf camo concealer to basically lock in that brow and conceal it this 
so now brows are done and I just went for a super simple brow look. That's what I usually go for is because brows can take a really long time if you're not careful. Let me just say that because you'll be going over and over and changing the shape. Like I just try to keep it simple so I don't have to do all that. And I feel like they look pretty good. Um, next step we are going to do is concealer. Now this is a really simple everyday glam look for you guys. If you want a more in-depth detailed one where I do eyeshadow and wear lashes, do crazy makeup looks, just comment down below. I'll be sure to post that for you guys. Now for my concealer, I'm going to go with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. Now, if you can't already tell, I am a big fan of e.l.f. products because they're great and affordable. I actually like this concealer over my Neutrogena concealer and over my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter concealer. I'm actually not a big fan of Fenty Beauty when it comes to makeup products. I don't know, maybe I just got the wrong shade, but I don't think I'm a big fan. Now I'm not gonna lie, my makeup usually looks 10 times better than this, but for some reason, that primer does not prime, and trust me, primer makes a big difference. It really does on applying the actual makeup. It makes it go on so much smoother. I'm going to contour with the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. Now this is actually a product that I really like from Brianna's line, um, is their contour stick. But with this product, as always with 50 beauty products a little will go a long way so do not overdo it or you're gonna be looking crazy i learned the hard way now i always get complimented for my nose contour so many people ask me for a tutorial where here you go it's really like three steps it's so easy Sometimes I feel the contour is like a hit or miss and this time I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not happy with how my makeup's turning out right now, but I'm still gonna post this because content. And I don't know, maybe something in this video will help someone out when they're first starting out doing makeup. What do you guys think so far? Comment down below, like what are you guys thinking about this makeup look so far? And any tips you may have because I'm open to learning always hey I feel like it doesn't actually look that bad maybe I'm being hard on myself why you think so too don't you I mean I guess or no what do you think I feel like it looks crazy so now I'm moving on to the very last step in our everyday makeup routine is setting powder Actually, second to last step is setting powder and setting spray because setting spray would be the last one. Setting powder, I use this All Night Urban Decay setting powder. A more affordable option would be the Airspun Blue Space Powder by Original Formula. Now, I would always use this setting powder when I was younger and I just finally decided to upgrade to a more expensive one once I became more skilled at doing makeup. I would still go for that one to this day. I, you just gotta know how to use it. You see, I use it so much, it's almost gone. <laughs> I never actually used the mirror in this. I'm gonna try it today. Oh, that is the wrong brush. That could have been bad. If you want to add some highlighter, this would be the perfect time. I'm going to show you guys the highlighters. I usually go in with only blush I've used and have ever used is the Milani Baked Powder Blush. Daily basis, I usually wouldn't use blush. So that's why I didn't include that into my routine. 
and uh, highlighter I also don't use on a daily basis but today I'll put some on just to show you guys I'm gonna be using the Milani day glow luminescent diurne strobe light instant glow powder that is a mouthful okay I'm not sure where the camera stopped and I'm worried but I'm about to apply my Milani highlighter apply that just a little Whew, I guess that's a lot more I'm gonna use this as a mirror and now I just blend everything out I'm taking my elf stay all night micro fine setting mist shaking it up spraying <coughs> I spray a lot because I needed the stick and I have to walk to work but yeah um so that is my everyday makeup look I hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned throughout vlogmas I am posting a video every single day in December if you follow my social medias my depop and my instagram and tiktok will be linked down below thanks for watching bye